T-H-O. We've all had it. Titty hard on. Even the great Gianna sisters couldn't avoid it. They couldn't avoid a disastrous box art either. The great Gianna sisters, or should I say the great Gianna sister, was an Amiga, Atari, and Commodore 64 game produced by Time War Productions in 1987, and they primarily received backlash to its similarities to Mario Brothers. If there's one thing they didn't rip off, it was the box art. If you actually focus on something other than boobies, you'll see a complexing scene with chicken-legged dragons, lobsters, flying saucers with eyes, and a cave opening blowing a fart. We see a monster with bloodshot eyes as it just took an eight ball of cocaine. The Gianna sister is clearly from the 80s and... Uh, what, wait, holy crap. Is that Stevie Nicks? <laughs> That's Stevie Nicks! Rock and roll, man. Rock and freaking roll. It really bothers me that there isn't more than one Gianna sister in this art. Couldn't you just throw one in the background or something? Is there a reason she's holding a crystal and flying with no aid, no broom, no cape, nothing? Just a crystal and one gust of wind from a full-blown nip slip. Let's take a quick look at the gameplay and... <laughs> wow, you weren't joking about ripping off Mario Brothers. Is this the adult pervert version of Mario? For some reason, Nintendo didn't go with the box art that showed Mario with a partial Woody. Not sure why. Seriously, are there any enemies on the cover art in this game? That is the best you could replicate of the Gianna sister in the game. It looks horrible! So why go to such detail on the box art? Because of sex, folks. That's why. It may have been the 80s, but sex still sells, people. You may have avoided the sexism backlash, but you haven't avoided the criticism of such crappy box art. The only thing that sucked harder than this box art are those nipples.